everyone welcome to the channel welcome to dish delish africa yeah so today i'm going to show you how to make your vanilla sheet cake yes actually the sheet cake we are using is not the very very wide or big one it is something like this yes it's 10 by 8 inch yes sheet cake yes so it's almost like a rectangle yes a rectangular cake this is the pan that will be using. so we'll be baking two of this so that is it for the recipe so these are the few ingredients you'll be needing it's a straight it's very straight to the point it's very easy to make yeah so let me run you through my ingredients so in here i have my sugar here i have my baking powder my baking soda and salt this is my vanilla essence my oil and egg yes so in here i have my oil and egg and here i have my buttermilk can you see yes this is my buttermilk this is my margarine and my all-purpose flour yes you can use a blend of soft and hard flour yes that is it there yeah, so what we'll do now is to just start to mix all the ingredients. So what I'll do is I'll start with my flour. So I'll push this to this side. Yes. So I'll just push to have enough space so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Yes. So my flour is already sifted. This flour you are seeing here is already sifted. So sorry, guys. Today is a Saturday. And I have some children who normally come to visit us every Saturday. So that is why you'll be hearing some background voices. Yes. And also the rain is also falling. So is it, you know, you can imagine. I had to just film this video because if I'm not filming now, I don't know when to film it. It will have to prolong. So that is why I just decided to film it. Even with a lot of noise. So sorry, guys. Please, I apologize so much. Yes, guys. So this is it. So I've just mixed in my sugar, my flour, my baking powder, baking soda, and salt. So this is the dry ingredients. Yes, yeah, so I've just mixed them all in. So what I'll just do now is to go in and mix more with my wooden spoon. Yes, you can use your stand mixer to do this. Even with your hand mixer, you can use to mix. But me, I love and I prefer to use my wooden spoon. So all I'll just do now is to throw in my margarine. I'm adding everything. Yes, I'm adding everything. All as a go. My margarine is refusing to remove. Yes, so it's with the aid of my wooden spoon. I'll just scrape it out. So make sure to scrape everything out because it's all part of the recipe. Yes, it's all part of the recipe. Yes, so I'll set this aside. Yeah, so all I'll just do now is to go in and mix. So we are just aiming to break the margarine and mix the margarine together with the flour. So this is the reverse creamy method. Yes, it's not like the regular method or the regular um, style of baking where you use, you mix your margarine and sugar together. Yes, this is a little bit different. This is another type of creamy method. Yes, and I, I just love this creamy method. Yes, because it's actually, you know, the, the gluten, the gluten formation is actually low in this type of creamy method. Yes. So all you just do is to mix. We just want to mix until we get a sandy texture. Yes. So you have to have patience with this. Just make sure to break all your margarine. Break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Yes. So we'll break it till we have a sunny texture. Till we are no more seeing any lumps of margarine. Yes. So you are no more seeing any lumps of margarine. So all we just do is to keep on mixing. So this is it. So this is it. Like, look at it. Look at it. Don't worry about the ones you are seeing. It's okay. Yeah, so all I will do now is to add in my buttermilk. All of it. I'll set this aside. Yes. So what you will do now is to go in and add in your vanilla essence. Don't worry. The list of ingredients will be in the description box. Yes, so you can just check it out. And you are good to go. Yes. So I'll set this aside. So all you just do now is to go in and gently mix. You mix until you form a dough. Yes. You mix, mix, mix until you form a dough. So that's all we'll just be doing. So we'll mix, 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 mix till we form a beautiful dough. This is actually a very easy recipe. Yes, like it's so easy. It's not difficult it's very easy so it's something very easy to put together especially once you know how to make the recipe you you are good to go like you are good to go guys so all i'm just doing now is to keep on mixing 
so i form a dough and i no longer see any flour in my mixture so the aim is to bring everything together without seeing any flour you can still see some flour don't worry yes yes at this point your hands will ache you a little bit because the mixture is a little bit much but don't worry you just have to keep on doing it just continue yes So we do this up until we see we do not see any flour yes guys so this is it so we form a dough so let me show you this is it yes so at this point i'm going to preheat my oven so by the time i finish mixing everything is ready yes so let me preheat my oven and get back yes guys so i'll set this aside and just whisk i'm just going to whisk my egg and oil mixture so you know this recipe one of the reasons why i love it is because it actually uses a blend of margarine and oil yes so it gives it this moist texture like it also takes the taste to the next level guys it's really really rich so you can also replace butter with your margarine if you do not want to use margarine you can replace your butter with your margarine yes so all i'm just doing now is to mix it whisk it very well so it's mixed together it combines together you are not able to differentiate between the oil and egg yeah so this is what you're looking for can you see you think it's only egg so all i'll just do i'll add half of it yes i'll add half then all i'll just do is to go in and mix so so the reason why I preheated the oven when I'm, I'm halfway is because my oven preheats very fast. So it normally preheats so fast to the temperature I want. So normally when I'm halfway in my mixing, then I go in and just on my oven yeah, so that I wouldn't get to waste so much gas and my oven, my oven will also just over preheat or maybe it will get to the wrong temperature. So normally I have, to, I normally gauge it. My oven normally preheats like Within five to seven minutes, it's ready. So by the time I finish this whole thing, the oven has already got into the temperature I need it to be. So that is it. So you just continue mixing like this. Yes, you mix. You mix very well, just like the way I'm mixing. Yes, you just mix, continue mixing. So you are able to incorporate the egg and oil mixture into this butter. Yes, so all I'm going to do now is to add the last part. Yes. Yes, I'll set this aside. Yes, so all I'll just do now is to continue. The aim is to just incorporate the, the egg and oil mixture into the butter. Yes. Yes, so I'm done now. This is what you're looking for. This is how your mixture is supposed to be. Do not worry about the lumps in it. It will come out beautiful. Yes. So all I'll just do now is to transfer it into my cake tin. Then I'll show you guys. Yes. Yes, guys. So this is it. Can you see? Yes. So this is what we are looking for. So actually, I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 35 to 40 minutes. Yes, so I'll check it by 35 minutes to see if it's okay before I proceed in the baking. So by 35 minutes, I'll start checking it. Yes, so what I'm just going to do now is to do some spark down. Yes, so remove any air bubble. Yes. Remove some spark down. Yes, so my cake is already perfectly leveled. Yes, so all I'll just do now is to pop it in the oven. Yes, guys. Yes, guys, so our cake is baked properly baked so this is where i'll be cooling it off yes so this is it It has cooled out completely so this is how one looks yes i'll set it here and i'll just bring the second one so this is it look at how beautiful it looks yes so it's okay so all i'll just do is to flip it to my yes so you see very easy easy peasy then all i'll just do now i'll just push it so that it can be perfect you know so all i'll just do 
is to turn this over also yes so as you can see they both were in the same oven but this one was more brown like you can see so we'll just trim this part off and we'll use it yes so this is it so let me just flip it over for you guys to see yes Already, it's very hot, so it's cracking already. Yes, so this is it. Yes, guys, so this is our cake. This is our sheet cake. Looking so beautiful. Yes, so this is for a client. I'll be showing you another video how to decorate a sheet cake. Yes, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget that one day at a time is the best. Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to hit the notification bell below so that whenever we upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. Till meet in our next video, please stay safe and bye.